Hello everyone and welcome to Honeywell Solutions video for TCAS2. In this video, we will talk about TCAS TP100B reliability solutions. Let's begin with TCAS TP100 system functioning. The TCAS system monitors the airspace surrounding your aircraft by interrogating the transponder of intruding aircraft. The interrogation reply enables TCAS2 to compute the following information about the intruder. Range between your aircraft and the intruder. Relative bearing to the intruder. Altitude and vertical speed of the intruder if intruder is reporting an altitude. Closing rate between the intruder and your aircraft. Using this data, TCAS predicts the time to and the separation at the intruder's closest point of approach, also known as CPA. When TCAS predicts that certain safe boundaries may be violated, it issues a traffic advisory TA to alert the crew that closing traffic is in the vicinity. If the intruder continues to close, TCAS issues a resolution advisory RA to obtain or maintain safe vertical separation between your aircraft and the intruder. TCAS then generates appropriate display and oral warnings. Below are the CAS 100 system components. On Boeing 737NG, we noticed resolution advisory RA latch issue. The issue of problem reported was TCAS fail message on navigation display may become latched on Boeing 737NG as a result of external system interface issues where required inputs are not available. TCAS byte will indicate attitude faults such as invalid pitch, roll, and heading. Fault can get latched if TCAS self-test was initiated in any mode other than TA or RA, and crew would then change ATC TCAS control panel mode to TARA under the following conditions. ADRO was not fully aligned when running TCAS self-test. Invalid resolution advisory discrete. When the ADROs are not aligned, the display system opens the RA discrete to TCAS, indicating the display system is not capable of displaying RA guidance commands. If a TCAS self-test is performed during this period, it will fail due to the constant open state of the RA discrete. TCAS when placed into standby mode after self-test has been initiated suppresses the TCAS fault, resulting in system OK. Only after TCAS mode changes to TARA mode is the fault is reported. Rutko's analysis of the RA latching issue has identified opportunities for improving the fault latch logic annunciation scheme. With the corrective action, we are addressing the RA display latching issue leading to TCAS no fault found, eliminating front panel LCD confusion about the model number and the part number of the unit. Other improvements and enhancements to TCAS functionality are also implemented. This solution can be implemented through Service Bulletin 940-0351-34 Receiver assembly Y1 oscillator failures. The issue of problem reported was TCAS failures reported from the field, which were caused by failures of the Y1 oscillator on TCAS receiver assembly. Failures indicated in the cockpit with a TCAS fail message. TCAS processor typically logs TX output power low, which is T1PW or T2PW or T3PW, or T4PW. Either one of these faults or RX calibration fault RCTO in byte NVM, which is non-volatile memory. Rukos analysis identified a receiver assembly failure mode in the Y1 oscillator, which may fail when exposed to substantial vibration and environmental stresses. During environmental stress, the oscillator may lose electrical connection with the circuit card and cause loss of oscillator frequency. We found inadequate mechanical soldier connection 
within the component validated with mechanical failure analysis and x-ray analysis. As a corrective action, Honeywell is pursuing replacement of Y1 oscillator with an improved component that will retain securely connection with receiver board when exposed to substantial vibrations and environmental stresses. Solution incorporated is hardware mod 15. This solution can be implemented through service bulletin 940-0300-34-0015. Here we have a list of service bulletins that bring in reliability improvements or some for obsolescence. Please download the latest SB revision from Honeywell Myers Space Portal.